What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and there's some interesting news going on over the weekend, not just all Russell-related, but tangentially also a new kind of renewed uh, attack on new tech, alt tech, places like Rumble and others. Now you can start to see some of the early warning signs that uh, the general typical um, usual suspects are now kind of circling their wagons to go after it. And uh, I want to start, there's a couple of topics. I want to start with first, you know, Russell Brand issuing a, a kind of a war cry, a rally cry on Twitter. The massively positive reaction to that, but also for some reason, a negative, a poor response from Elon Musk, I, I suppose I understand a little bit why, but it's just a very bad look. The way he replied, and people let him have it in the comments. I want to get right to all of the news. By the way, my coffee company, Coffee Brand Coffee, all week long, promo code the quartering to save on our some 20 different flavored coffees, our signature unflavored coffees. This goes directly to supporting the channel. This is how you fight back against censorship and demonetization. Promo code the quartering. We've got whole bean and ground. I would absolutely love to turn your business this week. Remember, for Christmas, we do gift boxes that sell out every single time we offer them. We've got decaf. We've got double calf. We've got any kind of coffee flavor you might want. We've got a dozen organic teas. We've got real cacao cocoa. The spike jack lantern and pumpkin pie are shipping now, and they're absolutely delicious. Promo code the quartering to save and also to support. And that would be awesome. <clears throat> now, Russell Brand put out, I don't know, like a two or three minute video on Twitter that received immense, immense support uh, from just about everybody. And I don't know if we need to watch it, but I, I just want to pull up the stats at least because it, 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 it shows that we're in a different time in terms of the fight against, you know, censorship and demonetization, things like that. He puts up this video Friday, 170,000 likes, and also allegedly 24.5 million views. Now, this is the number of times the post was seen, not the number of times the video was watched. I'm going to go ahead and say, you know, it's probably a two to three to one ratio compared to likes because you know <clears throat> to, to people who watched it it was probably viewed may, maybe a half a million times but what's also extremely um extremely encouraging is that the video itself on rumble did extremely well in fact the video on rumble which you know uh was put out at the exact same time okay has 93,000 thumbs up. That's incredible. I mean, when you think about, you're talking about Rumble, you're not talking about YouTube here. You're not talking about 500, 700 million users. Rumble is growing. It's at, I think, 50 million-ish active users. Something, the number is much more when you look at people who have accounts or whatever like that. But it's no small potatoes. Even my streams have been growing significantly. But, you know, this view, this video you know, has 15,000 comments, 93,000 likes, call it 100,000, and 1.55 million views. Now, on, on Rumble, a view is a view for the most part. At least it's similar to how it's calculated on YouTube, I would assume. But the response was interesting from Elon Musk. He ended up getting torched a pretty good bit in the replies. Elon Musk falls out with Russell Brand. Twitter boss says comics' latest rant is, quote, rather disappointing. Elon Musk appears to have fallen out with Russell Brand after being left disappointed. The comedian plugged social media platform Rumble in his latest YouTube rant rather than his own service, but has nothing also to say about all the claims against him. Last night, Russell Brand broke his silence against the claims came to light, claiming he had faced, you know, an extraordinarily and distressing, an extraordinary and distressing week. Speaking in the short three-minute video, uh, 
the underfire comedian thanked his followers for the support and for questioning information that you've been presented with. Musk, who owns X, which I, you know, <clears throat> I think Elon views X as a competitor to Rumble. I don't. I think most users don't. You know, until Rumble has a radical change of platform, it's not good for watching videos on. It's fine for watching like a two minute meme video or a little this or that. But, you know, searching for, there's no real way to search for videos. And hey, look, Rumble search, they have 2.0 coming out, I think, next month or something like that. Rumble search isn't amazing, but at least you're only seeing videos. Brand's new video comes just hours after yet another anonymous source came forward. And again, I've never said that I have any information or that I have any even strong belief that some of these things that people say he did aren't true. I bet you some of them are. Um, the, 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 the question is, or the reason it's an important story, is because it was brought up in a very coordinated manner in a way that was meant to not just destroy Russell Brand, but also tangentially or, you know, um, you know, as far as catching strays, to try and discredit Rumble. I don't care where people watch my videos. YouTube, Rumble, BitChute, Odyssey, Twitter. I'm just glad that you watch. Musk last night responded to a user who shared Brand's video, not Brand himself. You know why? It's because really... What Elon Musk should have done was liked and retweeted Elon's video, or um, Russell's video. The reason he didn't is obvious to me. It's because he promotes Rumble in it. Um, and also, let's be real, he also has a deal with Rumble. So I'm not sure that why would he go out of the way and promote another platform? I mean, that's just basic economics. If Elon wants people to have this kind of loyalty to his platform, then he's got to give people deals. I mean, that's just the way the wor it works. That's what Kick is doing to get people from, you know, from streaming. Rumble has people who have deals. You know, if Twitter wants to get into this content creation space, he's got to give people deals. Now, he, quote, he wrote, quote, it's rather disappointing that he is exclusively pushing Rumble uh, when X has supported free speech just as much. Well, I've got to be honest with you. It absolutely has not. Um, you know, Elon Musk has not supported free speech anywhere near as much as Rumble has. When France made requests of Rumble to censor particular content, Rumble said, okay, our service is no longer available in France. When the UK government emailed Rumble and demanded that they demonetize Russell Brand, okay, they put a public letter out and said, get bent. So, you know, I, I think that that's what Rumble does when it comes to protecting free speech. Reports say that Elon, under Elon Musk, now I'm sure, you know, to be fair, he is not making every little decision, especially anymore these days, but he has complied with 83% of government requested censorship. 83%. Now, some people say, well, what do you expect him to do? You know, well, Rumble told France, no, we're not going to censor, and you can go ahead and shut off our entire website if that's what you want. Now, I believe that it's important that both X and Rumble and other alternatives continue to offer people a platform that is freer speech that is doesn't have like you know wef ceos elon um but you know i'm not going to pretend that elon doesn't say he supports free speech but you know there are dozens of large personalities that are still banned on twitter slash x like alex tommy robinson many others that are thriving and allowed to publish content on Rumble. And then that does not count for quote unquote, all the little guys, which are tens of thousands more accounts that were never unbanned. What happened to Milo, Gavin? I mean, the list goes on and on of people that were summarily banned from Twitter and never restored conveniently by Elon Musk. So when he puts this up, 
it's rather disappointing to see that he's exclusively pushing Rumble when Access supported free speech just as much. It's a lie. Now, is X better than what it was when it was Twitter? Yes, I believe so. But it's still shadow banning. It still had its CEO come out and talk about how they have they will be shadow banning lawful but awful speech. That does not sound like free supporting free speech to anyone who's listening. The fact that, you know, Alex is still banned. And Elon said, oh, I lost a child, and that's why he's banned, is baloney. He knows that if he allowed Al- Alex back, it would displease the advertisers. Okay, he's not ready for that heat. A lot of these replies, you know, just dunking on him. You know, Robert Barnes. Rumble Video has, has better than X. Example, Owen Schroyer is still denying his account. While a fake account is verified and misleads people regularly, defames him daily, and X does nothing about it. X has supported more free speech just as much. An Alex meme, interdimensional vampire slaying intensifies. Dan Bongino says, this isn't zero sum, which I agree. It's, I own a good chunk of Rumble, and I've spoken in your defense many times. I've also promoted Tucker's show, which is on X only. People reminding him, speech not reach, lawful but awful. Is this free speech? Tell that to Owen Schroyer. Um, You know, Jake Shields, X is much better than Twitter. But you have banned Alex, Ye, and many others. And, and, then so we, and have it so we can't even discuss certain historical events. Dr. Anastasia Mario, Maria Lupus says, Elon, we still have many good people suspended. We are losing friends, good people to suspensions every single day. I had three memes flagged and I had to delete them just the other day. Memes. I know it's not you, but you still have bad people working there. They need to go. And I mean, obviously the quote tweets too. You know, we should think, I I think that X and Twitter should be working together. Viva Fry. In fairness, Elon, you still have Alex Owen banned from from X for off-platform content. X is great. Rumble is best. And, you you know, it's a rare, I mean, 8,000 comments compared to 16,000 likes. If you look at a lot of the quote tweets, also not good. Laura Loomer, 11,000 likes. Alex is banned. He's on. Alex is on Rumble. He's banned on X. Tommy's on Rumble. He's banned on X. Robert Barnes. It's rather disappointing that Twitter failed to reinstate Orrin Schroyer while allowing his fake account. Laura Loomer. Why be disappointed? Rumble allows for everyone to monetize equally and doesn't have a lawful but awful list like X does. So Russell has a point. You're going to have to take this up with Linda Yaccarino because her policies are anti-free speech. Alex Marinos, shout out. Sorry, Elon, but you need to understand what's happening. I have defended you from day one, but there are subtleties at play you don't see yet. I hope you will. You've made a massive sacrifice taking on Twitter. The Twitter files may be the best thing for free speech uh, in the last few years. However, there are still random suspensions going on. I was suspended in January for jokingly suggesting we should tar and feather a friend of mine. People go missing and we don't even know what happened. What's more is your stu- war with Substack is dumb beyond belief. I agree. X is not suitable for long-form essays, at least not yet. Substack links being deboosted is demoralizing for people like me who built a presence on both platforms. Why are you forcing me to choose between two good platforms? I see X, Substack, and Rumble as three platforms that are grappling with the same problem. Rumble pe- appears to be a lot more consistent about, def- consistent about defending its creator's right to speak. Example, shutting down access to France instead of banning RT. X has not figured out that problem yet. Well, yeah, I mean, I think that's, that's exactly it. The problem I worry is that you don't believe. is not that I don't believe you believe in free speech. I believe you feel it in your bones. However, I worry that your competitive streak is getting the better of you. I mean, it's all true. Uh, it, it's nuts. Elon Musk saying he's disappointed. Elon's got to view this as... They can work together. Elon still de-boosts links to my videos when I post them on YouTube, forcing me to upload a video straight to, you, uh, to Twitter, which is yet another video I have to upload. Um, you know, it's, it's sad. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm assuming that Russell's going to have some historic numbers on his live stream today, uh, which starts, well, right now. Uh, there's 16, 17,000 people already waiting. It hasn't even started yet. So 
I'm sure today's going to be an interesting show. Elon, I hope you realign your vision here, your position on this, because uh, I just strongly disagree with it. And I think that we should be working together and not competing in this manner. If you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like down below. If you made it this far, please check out coffeebrandcoffee.com. I would greatly appreciate it. And we'll talk to you again real soon.